afternoon baseball here on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the New York Yankees. The Twins will try to wrap up the three-game series sweep, and we'll have it for you next. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Leading off at for the, the plate, plate, Byron Buxton. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Byron Buxton. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings and this team this team's sitting pretty right now oh, had him off stride that time and it's one and two all in all a great afternoon for baseball 73 degrees here at first pitch the one two is a curveball taken low for a ball so you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That That's a good. pretty good pitch right good there. Good that job. fastball Four on the eight. inner half of the plate. You Four can one see one. that he just isn't able to get those arms extended and pretty ugly swing right there. At the plate, Jorge Polanco, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. He comes in one tick shy of 300 at 299. Ten home runs, and he's driven in 24. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down one and one. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Now the 2 1. That's the ball. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. Pulled toward right center field. There to take it is Gardner, and there are two away now. Batting third, the second baseman. Luis Arias. Into the box. Luis Arias. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now here's the pitch. Nope. Ball one. Cole. Or the Cole train Ball as he's frequently called. This is year one of a new nine year deal that he signed recently so it looks like he's here to stay for a long time. Two out nobody on. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 and 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Fastball swung on and missed. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Now the 2 1 pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Down go the Twins in order, and now the Bombers will get their shot. No score.
Kenta Maeda is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy's a fun guy to watch pitch. It seems like the more trouble he gets in, the better he pitches. Really tough to hit with runners in scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why his team loves when he's out on the mound. He doesn't give up very many crooked numbers. Here's Brett right Gardner here. now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Brett. of the first. Gardner. Here it comes. Oh, that's Fellas, these twins as they take the field this afternoon have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here. This team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings. And this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Shot toward right center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. You can tell he was thinking fastball the all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat hit out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he'll take a look at ball one. Previous head-to-head -head matchups with Kenta Maeda. He's got five base hits in 21 at-bats. He also has one home run. Hey. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Batting third, the right fielder, Aaron Judge. Here's big Aaron Judge. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. First pitch on its way. Nope. And that misses inside 1-0. Oh. This is on the ground over to first. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening Batting marker four. of the ball game. Good the manufactured run Gary. right there. Lead off double, That's move him good. over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Gary Sanchez is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. and oh. And now pitch on the way. Two balls, no strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and one to count. Now here's the pitch. No, inside. Giancarlo Stanton would be next. The three and one pitch is in there for a full count now. Three and two. Three and two. Three two pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. 
There's Whoa. ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle that a slugger like that to the end no and end up walking him than serving Josh one up where he can really hurt you. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Oh, and one. Sanchez, the runner at first with two gone. And he one misses and with it one and one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Swing one and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. The one two is a swing and a miss that's strike three so one run on one hit no errors and a runner left we we'll move ahead to the top of the second now the Yankees are out in front one to nothing here's Nelson Cruz now batting 300 for the series three for ten Nelson Cruz Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Lays off again, and it's 2 0. Three and O oh now. Three and oh. Now the pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three one. Hit hard to the right. Foul. He'll try it again, three and two. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. That is it. The third baseman, number 24. Josh Donaldson. Now batting, Josh Donaldson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air out to center field. After it is Gardner. He gets there, and that's the second out. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rosario. Now at the plate, Eddie Rosario. He's three for seven in the series coming in. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one. one. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Two and oh to the Twins left fielder. He's a veteran out on that mound. He understands he has to establish that inside fastball to open up the outer half of the plate. Now Cole's delivery 2-0. 
slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here three and one three ball count right now this looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far two out nobody on and this one misses inside a ball he walked him and they've got themselves a two out base runner batting seven the designated hitter Miguel here's Miguel Sano and as you take a look at the splits here he's actually better against right handed pitching this season here comes the first pitch nope that's the ball this is where you got to nope, take stock in the situation adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first if nothing less pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving two balls and no strikes to Miguel Sano two out with the man at first. Line hard toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Rosario ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. He comes across to score, and the Twins have tied it. We're all square and one apiece. Batting it. Great the piece of hitting here. Man on first, Matt. and they're playing him to pull. Nippler. But he crosses them up and goes the other way with it, making the outfielder cover a lot of extra ground. That allowed the runner to come all the way around from first to score, and that was a great piece of hitting. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. As we take a look at the splits between April and May. First offering on its way. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Good job there to jump ahead with the fastball. If he's going to get back on track out there, the fastball is what he's going to start to need locating first and foremost. Then he can work his other pitches off of that. The 0 1 offering. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Make a good pitch right here and get your offense back in the dugout after only giving up one run. fouled away and a change up here but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball and that's his strikeout pitch right there you know you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one but in this situation he was able to hold back that's a nice take fouled off he was absolutely all over that fastball have to find a way to keep that fair and it's fouled away just the second inning but already 37 pitches to this point Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The catcher. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Here's the catcher Alex Avila and he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball one and oh still plenty to be desired in terms of batting average down in the 180s entering play one home run and seven driven in. Hey. Fastball and that thing's a blur up there folks one and one. Uh, tough to get fooled any worse than that. He's in a hole now, one and two. Made him look silly with that one.
Here's the one two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. So it's two runs on two hits no errors and a runner left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Minnesota leads this one two to one. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He's two for ten in the series coming into today. The designated hitter. Number 29. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball one, no strike. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And he misses low with it, 2 0. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Boy, after that base knock right that there, D-Roll, he extends his hitting York streak top. to seven games. Way yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary Go adjustments man. at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. Keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. There to take it is Cruz, and that's the first out. Batting eight, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. So a runner at first with one out now. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Breaking ball for a strike, 0-1. And he takes this one high, 1-1. One and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Runner at first here, one man out. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, man, not. that's the advantage of the getting ahead in the count. You can really force Tyler. hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. He comes in with that average down in the 240s. One home run and 11 RBIs. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. In there, a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now batting, center fielder, Brett Gardner. So here's the veteran, Brett Gardner, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. High and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Yanks strand a pair. They're down 2-1. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. Coming into the day, they ranked first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. All right, Heidi, thank you. Mm, fooled him with that one as he's way out in front. And 
And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Here it comes. Ball that now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Buxton ahead in the count, three balls and a strike. Jorge Polanco will be next. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Stepping in, Jorge Polanco. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Throw over to the bag, and the runner back safely. From the stretch. Yep, that ball went out. Right back into a good hitter's count now after what was a pretty dreadful second inning. He's got to start throwing a lot more strikes. Quality strikes would help, too. He's going, he's there goes going, Buxton. Pitch misses low. The throw down he is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The 2-1. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. So chalk that one up, up as an E6, and he really can't the believe it out there. Luis Araya. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Luis Arias. First pitch coming, here it is. And a strike called at the letters. Look high to me, but it's nothing in one. This is where, as a hitter, you need to slow your thinking. You know he's trying to get you a double play ball right here. You have to control the strike zone. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now batting, right fielder, Nelson Cruz. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball, action side. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. Cruz, or the Boomstick as he's appropriately nicknamed. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Maddie, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. Hey, this guy's got an 89-mile-an-hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Made a pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what, they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Josh Donaldson digging in now. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. and So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout.
1 and 0. Oh. Here it is. Aye. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. One and one. Here it is. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Two down, runners at first and second. And it misses. Three and one now. Not a good spot to be in right now. A pitcher's fallen behind in a count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. And that's two free passes in the third the inning alone. So you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. At the plate, Eddie Rosario. One of the bigger spots in the ball game so far. Bases juiced now with two away. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. We're only in the third inning, and his pitch count is above 60. That's not being too efficient with your pitches. Come set, the 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. He put himself in a good position, jumping ahead 0-2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Now the 0-2, and he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. He's 0-1 for one after grounding out in his only trip baseman, to the plate so far. D.J. LeMahieu. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. So with one away now, it's time for a check of the standings as you find out where the Twins find themselves in the AL Central picture. Stepping up now, Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the One dirt. Completely right. different from the east-west we came up playing. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Misses. Ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Home run number 15 for him thus far. As the Yankees have tied things up, it's 2-2. Two two. Well, he had success earlier in the day driving in their only run and that success continues when he takes this pitch to his liking and makes sure some lucky kid gets a souvenir he's been huge for them in this one standing in now, now Gary Sanchez Center. Gary and he fouls Sanchez. this one off comes in with an average of 265 15 long balls and 36 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. 
Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. Now the 0 2 pitch. Well, that's off the plate. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. The one two. Bases are empty, one man out. This is foul right side. Ball two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no no doubt, you, Matty. Man. He's one of my favorites. Good mostly hard because hard. of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Giancarlo Stanton now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Here it comes, 1-0. Swing and a ground ball to third, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Nope. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive, not being very aggressive right now. Off speed Four pitch count. in the dirt Three, as he takes it for a ball. Gio Urshela would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Rounded slowly to the left side. Throw in time and the side is retired. But the Yankees are able to tie things up on the solo home run. We played three full and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Start of the fourth upcoming but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And overall he's really happy with the at bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff Heidi thanks. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. An RBI double is what he was credited with his Miguel. first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Owen won the count. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And 
and this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. That's a pretty unique pitch How sequence guys. Usually pitching is all yeah. about mixing pitches yep. and location but he threw that all out the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. To the plate now Max Kepler. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. On could we see another strikeout here. It's 0 and 2 now. Two runs on two hits and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Struck him out. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a now really good hitter. And it's not easy Alec. to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point. But that's what they've done to this guy so far. At the plate now, Alex Avila. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One strike now from Cole. Ball one. The 0-1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1-1. One and one. Avila, a previous member of the Diamondbacks organization. He was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer-term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one-year deal, and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi-year he's been looking for come offseason. A knuckle curve there, and he thought he had him, but it's two and two. Two runs on two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota skied into very shallow right and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning twins are set down one two three onto the bottom of the fourth this game's tied at two two just about set to go for the last of the fourth but before we do that here's Heidi Watney Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. In now is the Yankees DH, Gio Urshela. He'll lead things off the against Kenta Maeda. Number 29. First pitch on its way. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. You got to cover the whole plate now after letting him steal two strikes on the inside half. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there, just out of the strike zone. But listen, when you're a 300 hitter, you don't chase a lot of those so called oh, pitchers' pitches. This guy knows the strike zone. Two and two the count. Now here's the pitch. Got him. Now batting. And Not that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Glaber. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Ripped on the ground to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. The third baseman, Miguel Andrujar. 
Here's Miguel Andujar now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Andujar is really a well-balanced hitter. It doesn't seem to matter whether he's facing a right-hander or a lefty. He makes a lot of loud contact either way, which is quite rare in today's game. Yeah, you can tell this guy really pays attention, puts time in the cage, studies the video, seems to always have a game plan, and is not off balance too much. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Back up the middle. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a one-two-three inning, but not the case, Second giving up that base. late two-out knock. Well, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they can put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Has a look, now the pitch. <laughs> pitch is popped up. He dives, but he can't make the catch. It's a foul ball. Man at first with two out in a 2-2 ball game. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Maeda is there, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied 2-2. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One one. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now fouled off And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, now right? All he wants Push to down. do is get on base Boy, hey. and take advantage of well, the strength well. of his game, which is his speed. But with the strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. In now, Jorge Polanco. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. No hits to this point. Wind up and the 1 0 pitch. That's a ball. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Bases are empty, one man out. Count remains full. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. 
count is full. Here's the pitch. Right side. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. The batter, the second baseman, Luis Arias. Ready now, Luis Arias. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First offering on its way. Counts 1 and 0. Two out, nobody on. And that's right there, and we're even at one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Hey, two. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. The 2-2. Two -two. We got three balls and two strikes. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Now the three and two pitch. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two out base runner. Now batting, right fielder, Nelson Cruz. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Nelson Cruz. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Has a look, now the pitch. 1 0. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. A runner on first with two away. Two and oh. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Now the 2-0 home. Oh, if I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. And that he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back-to-back -back walks now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. It's really hard to work deep in the games when you're having an outing like this guy is. You're going to strike out a lot of guys. Well, guess what? Your pitch count's going to go up, too. One and one count now to Donaldson. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the hard row 17 inches. That misses, and we're even at two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Here's the two and two. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Twin strand a pair. Halfway home, tied to a piece.
Digging in now for the Yankees, Brett Gardner. One for two with a double Yankees. on his line thus far. The center fielder. Brett. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Gardner. Oh. Now some action out in the Minnesota pen as it looks like both a lefty and a right-hander are up to throw. At the ball. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Nip the corner, two and two. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The two, two, one more time. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit ball to second. He's right there. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now batting. The first baseman. DJ. Love Mayhew. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in DJ LeMayhew. On its way is pitch number 75. Ball at the side. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. Now here it comes. Nope. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Anytime Don't a pitcher like locates number a fastball on the inside corner, Aaron. it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. Yeah. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Rosario is right there, and he will put it away to retire the side. So the Yanks go 1-2-3 two, through 5, all even at 2-2. Two, two. Striding in, Eddie Rosario. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at-bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play. Too much on the line, too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Shot toward right center. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. No mistake what he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, the kept his hands That's back, good. stayed through the baseball, Yo. and delivers a hard hit yeah. line drive. So the big bat of Miguel Sano digs in next as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. 2-2 two -two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Here's a changeup that's right there, one and one. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. 
You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. now. I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before now. he's done. Yep. Still a lot of game left in this one. Into the box now, Max Kepler, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and A hit and two tries for him so far. A bouncer up the middle. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Twins retired in short order. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece. Your Homer Bailey please. enters to do the pitching in the bottom the of the sixth. Number 15, Homer Bailey. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. Leading off. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Gary Sanchez. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now batter. So striding in, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Here's the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Fouled off. Bases are empty, one man out. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. No problems for him on the mound since he's now come bad. out of the pen to start this Number inning. 29. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. So now to the plate, Gio Urshela. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's one for two in this one. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Six innings complete, all square at two and two. Your Zach Britton please. is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53, Zach Britton. Seventh inning ready to roll. Up next for Minnesota, for Alex Avila. It was a flyout for him in Alex his last trip. Avila.
first pitch of the at bat on its way. And that gets the black on the outside a good slider that time. That's lifted the other way out to left. And there's your go-ahead base runner right away as this is down for extra bases. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. Now that is. The managers these days like to think of that nine-hole hitter as the second leadoff man, and he plays the role pretty well right here. Gets the leadoff double, and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton as he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. The 0 1 pitch. I got a ball, one strike. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You the can't spot a sinker in a better Four location nine. because Four even nine. if you do get the bat on the Four ball, nine. there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Grounded to the right. And that's through into right field for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still the only one two. away. Hey, Debro, looks like they three. might finally have something oh, going after that base hit. First and third, one out, and maybe now they can get something started. Yeah, you could tell the third base coach was going to be aggressive right there, right? A nice read by both him and that's the base better. runner to take that extra base and put them in scoring position. They've been... They've been struggling right now to get guys in scoring position. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 0 home. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. No break. Popped him up. Sanchez is under it. Two gone. Now batting, right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Now the number four Minnesota hitter, Nelson Cruz. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Hoping to keep it tied, here it comes. Comes set, the 0 1. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. 0 and 2, here it is. Hit on the ground out to short. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the Ladies inning is over. It's so it's no runs on two hits, no seven, errors, eight. and two men Correct. left stranded. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. And we are tied 2-2. Two -two. Into the box now, Torres. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the, the side Yankees. last inning. How did they get to him stop. here? 
I'm not Wait sure, her. Matt, that they want to stay as patient. Go He's been red. throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here comes the first pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Now the 1 0. And it's fouled away. In the air to straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run, but it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. The batter. Just a the great approach baseman. at the plate right there. Yeah. Takes that pitch on the I'm outer half hard. and goes with it. He clearly hit it well because it bounced right over the wall for a ground rule double. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Comes set and the 0-1. Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting 14. on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. At the plate, Tyler Wade. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Two well count the pitch. Ball that goes there. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. set here's the 3 0 and he takes ball four so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me you're not usually going to get many favorable calls on three and oh though you have to earn that spot so back to the top of the Yankee order digging in Brett Gardner he's got a hit in three at bats to this point first pitch of the at bat Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Ball. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Runners are at first and second with one away. Hit hard towards center. That's in there. Base hit. Torres rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as it's now a 3-2 ball game. Now batter. Boy, those baseman. have to feel really good, Dio. You just get late in the game. You come Love up with a big baby. RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Now in the box, D.J. LeMayhew. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. On one. First and second now, one man out.
Mm, clearly fooled there on the slider. Here it comes, 0-2. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Adam Adovino has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. The New York Yankees. Number zero, Adam Adovino. Riding in once again, Josh Donaldson, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. He's set. Here it comes. Hey! A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Oh, and one. Here it comes. Popped him up. Sanchez is there. He's got it one away. Now batting, left fielder, Eddie Rosario. At the plate, Eddie Rosario, one for two in the ball game thus far. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Ball one, no strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Those are just two great takes right there. Those are pretty good pitches. Sliders down the way, both of them, just off the plate. Couldn't get the batter to fish. Hey. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. and one. Adovino is a guy known for his lights-out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. The 3 1. And he fouls this one off. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. This is pulled into right. Judge is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now we talk about getting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented the tying run. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Miguel Sano. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. There's the cold strike he was looking for. Two and two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? 
action pitch right here, 2-2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. But the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Well, his team took the lead, and he's able to notch two outs, thinking he's going to shut him down here and preserve the lead. Not so fast. Batter comes up, laces a two-out double, and is a base hit away from coming home to tie this thing. Stepping in now, Max Kepler, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He was a double play victim last time around. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here, why not? First base is open, walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. Two out here and a runner at second. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Alex Avila would be next. Here's the 3-1. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Ready with the payoff pitch. Sky down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Yankees three and the Twins two. Your Corey Garrett is on to pitch out of now the bullpen in the bottom three. half of the eighth. Number 38, Corey Garrett. Coming to the plate now, Aaron Judge. He homered back in the third inning of the this right one. Fielder, Aaron Judge. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Count one and Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. The Twins are looking for the sweep in this game, as we mentioned earlier, but trailing by one, they're going to need to come from behind to do it. This one's still well in striking distance. Only trailing by one going late on to the game. They just need a bloop and a blast or some kind of extra base hit. This one's far from over. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. And for the opposition, finishing this one off and salvaging a win in the series will sort of allow them to at least save a little face here at home. No doubt about it. The last thing you want to do is get beat around in your own backyard. You want to make your home ballpark a winning ballpark. So winning this one and avoiding the sweep could be just what the doctor ordered. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is. And, now and it's true. Catcher. So in the eighth inning Jerry. of a one-run game, that's a really Sanchez. nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. <laughs> As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball. One and one. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right-hander is up and throwing. A 
the 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. One out, nobody on. That's Three and one now as that misses down and in. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor. Three and one. The three and one pitch. He loses him on ball four. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone no pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Stanton. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. First pitch coming, here it is. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Liner in there for a base hit. Hey, listen, when you have a good sinker, you have to throw it, now but he's going to have to get the ball much lower in the zone than that last one. Yeah, from the offensive side, Dan, two-seamer, pitcher, sinker, baller, what have you, you're looking for that thing to pop up above the belt, and that's exactly what happened right there, miss middle. Runner, runner. At the plate now, Gio Urshela. Offered at and missed, here's the throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Ball one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Yep, one and one. Aye. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The Yanks leave one, and it remains a 3 2 ball game. A roll this Chapman lead. comes on from now the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top Number of the ninth. I'll roll this. Chapman. Marwin Gonzalez will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Gonzalez. High in the air out towards shallow right. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Now batting, the center fielder, Byron Buckton. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Byron Buxton. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Nope. In tight with the slider two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. 
And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost cause in this one. That's the fourth time he struck out in this game alone, and that's not something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. Into the box now, Jorge Polanco. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Two and now. Two and one after the foul ball there. Chapman, a Cuban born ball player. He's an 11 year vet at the major league level, so he certainly puts together a nice career in professional baseball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Fouled off. Final strike for the Twins. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on to first and the Yankees will salvage at least the finale in this three game series as the ball game is over. Man facing Chapman is not for the faint of heart as he unleashes fireball after fireball. Gets the final out here and another save. What a weapon Chapman is. A one run game this afternoon. Three to two the final finish. The New York Yankees jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Zach Britton gets the win in relief his second of the year. Aroldis Chapman wraps it up for the save, his 12th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.